large language models and the updates that they get are hard enough to understand without having a constant tension between the hype that these LLM makers bring to the table and the actual product releases that they offer. I was thinking about this because advanced voice mode, which is something that has been widely hyped, that has been released in a closed beta as of mid-August 2024, is still not widely available, even though it was discussed this spring, shown this spring, said to be super cool this spring by OpenAI. Sora, also by OpenAI, is kind of in the same boat. We still don't have widely available video generation from OpenAI, even though they announced it, even though they had a whole page dedicated to it. What I find fascinating is that OpenAI is deliberately adopting a hype approach here that makes sense from a game theory perspective, but is super frustrating to customers. And they're not the only ones. There are a lot of other model makers out there who are adopting a hype first approach. And the ones that aren't, it makes sense for them given their incentives. Let me walk through that sort of comparison quickly. Let's start with OpenAI. They need attention to maintain market leadership. They need to be shown and seen to be the leaders in AI to keep their number one position in usage. And that matters to them because even though they are very well funded by Microsoft, they still need to show that they're number one for Microsoft to defend, propose, drive enterprise deals based on the open AI model set with very large companies, which is key to Microsoft's overall monetization strategy and the way Microsoft is thinking about their open AI investment. So they have to get attention. And that means they have to be constantly seen as moving in the direction of significantly improved AI, even if actual shipments to scaled out user footprints lag way behind. And that's what we're seeing. That's why Sora is not really widely available yet. That's why advanced voice mode is not widely available yet. And that's why in the most recent hype example, I don't think Strawberry is going to be widely available for a while. What is Strawberry, you might ask? It is rumored or leaked to be the next iteration in reasoning and autonomous internet navigation from ChatGPT. The reason why they decided to leak it seems pretty clear to me. It's a hype battle. And I noticed that the strawberry leaks really gained speed and momentum after reports started to drop that a lot of folks with open API pipelines by open, I mean easy to switch out of large language models. Like if you're deploying an application, you want to be able to switch an LLM on the back end. It's super easy. Well, once Llama released last month and once uh, the latest uh, version from Anthropic, Claude Sonnet released, there was a persistent push to start to shift those API pipelines over to other models, not ChatGPT, because ChatGPT was widely perceived as being lower on a significant range of benchmarks, even their 4.0 model versus Sonnet versus uh, Llama. And as those reports began to circulate, as it began to become apparent that people who build in this space were moving away from OpenAI toward a more advanced model, suddenly leaks began to multiply from OpenAI that, hey, we're working on something new. It's called Strawberry. It's really cool. And then yesterday, August 12th, it turns out that they've been releasing something in the wild in 4.0 for weeks and not telling anyone about it. And they just sort of had a cryptic announcement to say, hey, we've got a new and improved 4.0 model in the wild. It's been out there for a few weeks. I hope you've been liking it. That is not a release note. That does not help someone who is trying to understand the wide latent space that you have in an LLM capability set to actually use that space to do useful work. It just doesn't work. And we need release notes, even if they're hard, because we need guidance as users to start to figure out where to go next because the chat window doesn't really tell us anything. I've talked about that in previous, previous videos. The chat window just says, say something. And we have to understand enough of the LLM to prompt appropriately. And if I don't know that a model is upgraded, and this is not just an open AI problem, by the way, this is a larger industry problem with LLMs right now. If I don't know what the capability set in the upgrade is, it is hard for me to know how to change my usual prompting strategy to get more out of the upgrade. So I don't necessarily perceive any value. 
because the value is in the response to my prompt and my prompt will need to change if the latent space in the model has shifted, if the capability space has adjusted. So all of that to say, yes, there's rumors about a new release called Strawberry. I wanted to contextualize it in the larger sort of hype cycle. And I wanted to call out as I close this video, the difference between this approach and the way Meta is handling things, because I think Meta exemplifies sort of the opposite take. Meta doesn't have the same set of incentives. They are not trying to monetize their model. Mark Zuckerberg has been extremely clear about that. And their only goal is to build an ecosystem, which means their real value is if a real model is released widely so that people can build on it. And that is why Meta is shipping widely and letting researchers, letting developers build against their models. That's why Llama, when it was released, was actually released, not just announced. Because Meta doesn't have the same need to maintain hype. They just need to build an ecosystem that really works. Now, I'm not here to say who's going to win this race. If we step back, I think one of the big concerns I have is that all of the players who see what is happening have decided that this is an important enough moment in history that they are willing to invest potentially billions of dollars over. And that's not my take, by the way. That's actually from like Google memos that have been released that say that they're looking at it from a game theory perspective and saying we'd rather overinvest than underinvest. So they're willing to invest a ton, but the investments deprecate super fast. How do you win? when the LLM is out of date in 90 days and you've put so much into it and now people are talking about switching. I remember it was just earlier this year when 4.0 was incredible and we were so excited for it. And now Sonnet is out and that's better in certain ways and Llama's out and that's better in other ways. And it's just going to keep happening. This is not like the age of railroads where you could build tra train track to a village and it was your train track and it was a durable investment and you could actually get the return on investment by monetizing it over an extended period of time. We need to be in a place where you can get that kind of return on investment. And right now what big companies are betting on is that they are going to get to that place later. And they are willing to spend now on a insane pace of acceleration in LLM intelligence until they get to a spot where they can establish a dominant market position and start to monetize. And so they're willing to do all of this throwaway work that essentially amounts to better, cheaper intelligence for everybody, which is great for consumers, great for professionals who are trying to level up their work. And they're willing to delay monetization. That's going to have wide implications on the earnings reports of major companies over the next few years. They are going to be willing to take hits on their earnings that are substantial, that are material, that are in the billions and billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars, in order to show that they can win at this game because they think winning at the game of artificial intelligence is that important. Okay, so if you want to understand like, why I contextualize Strawberry the way I do, that's my take. I think rumors like the Strawberry rumor out of OpenAI need to be understood inside like a game theory frame, inside an arms race frame, so that you actually can see what each player is trying to do and not just look at the capabilities because so often the capabilities trail way behind. All right, that's my take. What do you think about Strawberry?